Hey guys, uh, what's up my week squad, or maybe I should come up with a better thing to call you guys, but uh, either way, this is Wii YouTuber here, and today I'm going to be reacting to Gohan vs. Superboy by Reply Mobile themselves. Now, I'm going to be, I picked up some nuggets from Burger King because I felt like it, that, and I just want to let you know that I just got back from my hotel, so, so, there's that, that's why I wasn't able to, like, get this reaction out right away. I don't know why I would do that on camera. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to say Gohan on this one. With that being said, OG link in the description. Make sure you go subscribe to Rewind Rumble. And I got to make sure the volume isn't blasting. And now, oh, fuck. <laughs> and now let's go. And there's no ads on this one. So we don't have to worry about those. But there's that stupid magnifying glass. <laughs> We want one more bitches. <laughs> like father, like son is a cliche statement that expresses the meaning that children share many similarities with their parents, not just in terms of their looks, but even the way they behave, think, and react. We have the son of Pippa, Gohan, and Superboy, the son of Superman. We all know what this battle may or may not resemble. I can't end this debate once and for all, but what I can do is rewind rumble. Just you rewind rumbling, apparently, not all of us. Some of you might be scratching your heads on why I called Gohan Piccolo's son. And yes, obviously he is Goku's son, but not including Piccolo's influence on him growing up would be like doing a Batman analysis without telling you that Batman's parents are dead. But Gohan isn't the only child with two dads. Superboy also has two dads, for he is the hybrid clone of Superman and Lex Luthor. And speaking of hybrids, Gohan is also technically a hybrid, since he is half human and half Saiyan. These two might actually have more similarities than both Goku and Superman have for each other. Being the first hybrid between a human and a Saiyan, Gohan's potential to gain power is significantly greater than any pure blood Saiyan. Though it is fair to point out that Gohan is probably the only Saiyan that does not show a common lust for battle. However, when he is forced to fight, he shows special I mean, it's true, like, it's true, like, like his father Goku. Gohan assuring like his parental like parental his things with otherwise then you wouldn't even want to battle anyways Gohan has a strong attachment with his mentor Piccolo Piccolo was forced to train Gohan after the death of Goku at first the relationship with Piccolo was a framing one but after just one year Piccolo himself even admitted to changing because of the friendship that he developed with Gohan and he even sacrifices himself to save Gohan Superboy is also half alien and half human but he was born in a laboratory not conceived in a bedroom him being Born in a lab raises the one question, who do we know someone that constantly tries to achieve the hero of hope's power, whether it be through technology, genetic enhancements, or sometimes even both? That's right, Megamind. He's always trying to be on the same level as Metro Man. But you guys want me to talk about the other bold super genius villain, Lex Luthor. Well, yes, Lex Luthor did fund a number of very secret projects, but Project KR, the project that led to Superboy, was not his first attempt at this. There have been many projects like Project Cadmus, Project Match, that really Why not Project 1065? <laughs> have you ever read... If you follow Alan Gratz, the author, you guys know what I'm talking about. DNA to fill the gaps, and of course he put himself on top of the list to donate and fill those genetic gaps. When Superboy, aka Connor Kent or Connell, was born, he was kept in a containment pod along with three genomes who telepathically controlled him and educated him with the knowledge of a boy roughly about the age of 16. Superboy would have been a great tool for Lex and a great tool for evil, but thanks to the likes of Aqualad, Robin, and Kid Flash, they were able to liberate Superboy and free him from his prison. So both sons grew up with little to no time with their genetic fathers, and both sons ended up on fighting squads. Gohan is a member of the Z Fighters, and Superboy is a member of Young Justice, which is more accurately known as the team. Now you know a prince has the team. growing up, but what could they actually do? As a partial genetic clone of Superman, Superboy has most of the physical abilities of a Kryptonian who has absorbed the solar energy 
energy of a yellow sun. However, due to the human DNA supplied by Lex, he lacks more advanced powers of long-term flight and heat vision. In addition, his existing powers are considerably inferior to that of Superman's. Like Superman, Superboy is nearly indestructible. This invincibility allows him to rush into dangerous scenes with little care on what actually might happen to him. Out of all his teammates, Superboy has taken the most punishment from their missions and displayed the least amount of injury. He also has super hearing, microscopic vision, and telescopic microscopic. vision. Like most members of the Z Fighters, Gohan can fly, manipulate key, power into a Super Saiyan, fire key blast. Of course you can fly. If you can't fly, you're not a DBZ character. Oh, wait, never mind. No, no, I'll take that back. I'll take that back. Also, his experience with wearing flashy capes, hiding his identity, and playing the classic Boy Scout comic book hero role. His alter ego, the Great Saiyan Man, was first born when Gohan transformed into a Super Saiyan in order to disguise himself as he fought some bank robbers on the morning to his first day of school. The Great Saiyan Man not only helped out with protecting the streets, it accidentally helped Gohan get his foot in the door with Videl, who is currently in a relationship with him. Both of these characters are quite powerful in their own rights, but they are not without their weaknesses. Gohan can't breathe in space, and while Superboy can, Superboy lacks some specific abilities that Superman has. Superboy, of course, is weak to kryptonite, and without yellow or blue sunlight, his power can deplete. I mean, yeah. But, I'm gonna still say Gohan on this one. <laughs> Set ourselves a circumstance. Let's do humanity a favor and keep these two as far away as possible from populated zones, preferably a desert. No preparation. These guys won't use it anyway. At least not against each other. And what That's a bullet? What? That they they, they would use it against each other. It's not a simulation. There's going to be forms and crazy things that aren't factored into the research. Once that circumstance bar has finally loaded, it's time. Yeah, sure. It's time to rewind Rumble. But, what do you talk about they wouldn't use it against each other? Gohan and Superboy are smart, okay? They're able to at least have the knowledge of using prep against each other. Oh, Hunter really kicked the Chun Li here, guys. <laughs> He's like, screw your Kamehameha. Come on, Gohan. You can still stand up around after that. Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought, Gohan. Super boy, you is a gunner. Damn the bitch. Kamehameha. Oh wait, you can move while doing command man. I didn't know that. Go hunt. Oh, ho -ho! say bye bye to the boy. Yeah, Gohan won. Let's go. Now let's find the others and destroy the androids. My boy Gohan took the dub. That's how I well, like it. Enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Team Animation Rewind Spino. Also, special Spino. thanks to BTL Video Good job. and Richard Ford Kenobi for the research and notes for this episode. Thanks and enjoy the post analysis. Gohan, and if I have to be honest, I would feel kind of bad comparing each and every one of Superboy's stats to Gohan's. And to be fair, this was exclusively Young Justice Superboy.
Superboy. I'm very sorry that this is the weakest Superboy, but before researching this in complete depth, this version of Superboy had the best bright resources and the best connections to Gohan. Sprite resources. It was, stopped, it was too late to start over and to try and buff up Superboy. The stat stop is so wide, I'm better off just laying out the intangibles instead, because that alone should explain why Gohan wins. So let's do that. First and foremost, Gohan can fly and Superboy can't. This will severely limit Superboy's mobility and Gohan will most certainly always have an option to keep a safe distance from him. Another important intangible is that Gohan being a hybrid is a good thing, while Superboy being a hybrid is a deterrent. Since Gohan is half human and half Saiyan, his power potential is way more efficient than pure blood Saiyans. Because Superboy is half Kryptonian and half human, his potential as a full Kryptonian is limited due to having human DNA. Some other important things to know is that Superboy is technically six years old. Sure, he has the physical body of a 16-year-old, but he has only been alive mathematically for six years, which means his experience is extremely detrimentally low compared to Gohan, who has been fighting for decades. The stay advantage is so miserably in Gohan's favor, all I really need to tell you is that Gohan casually kept up with Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and it took Goku to go all the way to Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 in order to win the fight against Gohan. If that doesn't scream Gohan Raffle stopping Superboy, then nothing will. Making the winner of this battle, Gohan. Gohan. Now if you want to see a rematch between Gohan and Superboy Prime, all you have to do is like this Superboy video. Prime this does have the power to shatter dimensions, so which does make him semi-universal, but then again, it took him hours on end of constant punches to do so. But if you guys want that Superboy Prime rematch, then go to the original video and hit the like button. Soda Rewind Rumble. Rumble. Alright, let's see what this is. That's a black. What's this? Is it? Oh! This is interesting. Shadow versus Sonic? What is this actually? Cause you got Oh Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. So I'm guessing this is I'm guessing that was Archie Sonic and Archie Shadow versus Flash and Reverse Flash. I'm so confused. I mean I get that it was Sonic vs Flash and I thought it was Shadow vs Sonic for a second. And then and then it's just Sonic vs Flash. I am now so confused. Well, okay, we got a Flash vs. Sonic, I guess. Um, there's that. All right. Thanks, thanks guys for watching this video. If you like this video and you want to see more of it, please leave a like and let me know down in the comments below for the question of the day. Would Superboy Prime be Gohan? I honestly don't think so, but but if he did, then that's good to know. Also, if you're out new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit the bell to be notified when I upload another video. So yeah, next up we have, I guess, our, I guess we have a Sonic vs. Flash battle. I mean, I don't know if it's regular, I'm pretty sure it's Archie Sonic from the art, and maybe that's Wally West. But I think that's like just Archie, I, I think, I also think it probably would have been... Archie Sonic and Archie Shadow versus Flash and Reverse Flash because you've seen Sonic and Shadow. But whatever it is, I'm just going to forget about it for now. Now, make sure y'all also check me out on social media. And yeah, so I guess I guess we'll just find out. I guess we'll just find out whenever the next episode of Real Iron Rumble is. Because that, well, after June's over, they're going to go back to their, to their main schedule. So afterwards, yeah, so. Thanks for your subscribe and new comments watching this video. And we'll be out, y'all. Peace!